Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will tell you the difference between 4-bit triple carry adder and 4-bit incrementer logic. So our focus will be which will consume more area and which will consume lesser area. Friends, just for your information, a 4-bit triple carry adder takes more area with respect to 4-bit incrementer logic. But the dilemma here is, Wherever we can use 4-bit incremental logic, at the same place we can use 4-bit ripple carry adder. And the reverse is not true. And most of the people commit this mistake that instead of using 4-bit incremental logic, they are using 4-bit ripple carry adder in their designs. In short, designers are wasting chip area. And in this video, we are going to reveal that how much area 4-bit ripple carry adder takes and how much area 4-bit incremental logic takes. And now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, let us try to understand the logic design of 4-bit incremental logic. So here I have taken a number A, which is 4 bits, A3, A2, A1, A0, and other input is fixed to 1. And I have assigned a particular value to number A, that is 1, 1, 0, 1, that is A3 is 1, A2 is 1, A1 is 0, A0 is 1. Now let us see how we will perform binary addition. So firstly we will add a0 with this 1, sum will be generated 0 and carry will be generated 1 because 1 1 is 1 0. So sum will be 0 and carry will be generated and it will be followed to the next place. Here if you try to see we need to add 2 binary bits and output should be sum and carry. Similarly at this position also we need to add 2 binary bits 1 and 0 and we should get 1 sum and one carry. Similarly at this position also we need to add two binary bits and we will get one sum bit and one carry bit. So these two bits will be added together we will get the sum bit and one carry bit. So let us see how we can implement it. So the simplest implementation is with the help of half address. Because half address provides a provision to add two binary bits and it gives two outputs sum and carry bit. So let us see, A0 is applied here and this one is applied to the first half header on the LSB side and it will give us S0 and one carry. Similarly at this position we need one half header, at this position we need one half header and this position we need one half header. And I have applied this particular binary number to this number A1101 and this one is fixed. So one will be added with one, S0 will be zero which is shown here also and carry will be generated 1 this will be applied to the next position so 1 and 0 added together will get sum as 1 carry will be 0 so 0 will be applied to the third half header 1 0 again will get 1 as a sum carry will be 0 so 0 plus 1 will get, get s3 as 1 and c4 as 0 and this is our final result friends now let us try to understand the implementation of 4 bit ripple carry header so here I have taken two numbers A and B. A is A3, A2, A1, A0 and number B is B3, B2, B1, B0. And this I am assuming if any carry bit is coming from the input. C in A0, B0 should be added together and it should give us one sum bit that is S0 and carry will be generated which is C0 and will be forwarded to the next position. At second position we need to add these three bits c0 a1 b1 so we should get s1 as a sum bit and c1 carry will be generated which will be forward to the next position similarly here we need to add three bits at this position also we need to add three bits if you see very carefully we need to add three bits at each position and full error is the one which allows us to add three input bits and it gives one sum and one carry bit. Hence, we will apply C in A0, B0 to the first full header and it, it will give us S0 and C0 at its outputs. Second full header will provide us a provision to add A1, B1 and C0 and in turn it will give us S1, C1. Similarly, third full header will allow us to add 3 bits. Fourth full header will allow us to add A3, B3, C2 and it will give us S3 and C3. So our final answer will be C3, S3, S2, S1, S0, 5 bits number. 
फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर क्लियर अबाउट द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ फोर बिट रिपल कैरी एडर एंड फोर बिट इंक्रीमेंटल लॉजिक आल्सो नाउ लेट अस कंपेयर द एरिया ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटेशन इफ यू सी इट केयरफुली अ फोर बिट रिपल कैरी एडर नीड्स फोर फुल एडर्स एंड अ फोर बिट इंक्रीमेंटल लॉजिक नीड्स फोर हाफ एडर्स नाउ वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हेयर इज वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच इज द एरिया डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ हाफ एडर एंड अ फुल एडर if we understand this then we are done friends now i'm going to show you the difference between the area of implementation of a full adder with respect to half adder so in this diagram i have implemented a full adder with the help of half headers so it is very clear that a full adder is implemented with two half headers plus or gate full adder is more than the area of two half headers so in short i can say that a 4 bit ripple carry adder consumes more than the double of the 4 bit incremental logic because or gates are also included friends i hope that i am able to make you understand that how a 4 bit ripple carry adder consumes more than the double of 4 bit incremental logic and with this i am going to end this video session i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you If you also like this video please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section and in future also we are going to create many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and your time